Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody left me a message off one of my videos, how to draw a horseshoe, and it could be drawn, but it'd be a lot easier to just start with a clip art, so I just went to the internet, typed in horseshoe clip art, and here's a little key thing to do when you're up here, go to your image, and select large Im images only, it'll kind of limit them. And then just kind of look through here and like, see, that's only 558 by 595. Uh, here's one that's 600. So the larger you start with, the better you are off. I don't really know where the one I started with. But just go through here and pick the style you like. And that's pretty good at 679. You don't want to double one. It could still work, but I don't know which one I actually used. Okay, here, here's one that's 1697 by 2400 pixels. That's pretty big. Then just cut and paste it into Corel Draw. So here's my clip art. Here is what the deal is. Here, this clip art, go up to Bitmap, resample, and you can see it's only 115 dots per inch. So just I would go on this one, I'd go 300. So it's already changed it. I've already done this one. You can see right here, it's 300 dots per inch by 300 dots per inch. And then on this particular case, I went to trace bitmap, outline trace, and line art. And if it took takes too long for the video, I'm just going to cancel because I've already got it traced right here. So we're going to cancel it just so you won't have to watch, wait for the video to watch that. But here's my new my new clip art vectorized so just click on it go up to arrange ungroup and then let's get rid of this white by just clicking on the white and deleting it so now all the white's gone I'm going to left click see if you look right down here there's no outline there was only fill now I'm going to right click the mouse and I'm going to get an outline but you can see and this is a problem a lot of people have it's got a double line so to get rid of that is just click on that, go up to range, break curve apart, and then just delete one of those lines. Now we're going to use these later for just references, but it's still pretty rough. So get your shape tool and click on it. See all the nodes? Select it all. Go up right here and delete, you know, change the nodes, reduce the nodes by 20. And it's still a little rough, but we'll go through and clean this up. And let's think about just cleaning up half of it because we only need half of it. And you just kind of want to look, make sure it doesn't distort your horseshoe very much. So we're just going to clean up half of it. And I'm going to put that back. And let's see if we delete this one. Whoop, can't delete that one. It does too much. And you can get around that, but we're going to delete that one. And we're going to call that good. See what happens there. That didn't change. Now, let's take the whole thing and group it. Control G. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Let's, now, let's get rid of all this other stuff for a minute. Move it out of the way. And we're going to press P on the keyboard and put it in the center of the page. That's what I was saying about, so this side is cleaned up where this side's not. Take a two-point line and just hold down your control button to get a perpendicular line. Hit P on your keyboard. Get your virtual segment delete key and delete this. Now we can get rid of our line by hitting delete. Control, well, we'll click on it. It still acts like it's there. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Holding down the control button. and I'm actually grabbing the yellow. Let's get the yellow out of the way. We do not need it. So, and I think I've still got part of the part of the red in there. Yeah, I've got a little bit of the horseshoe left, so just take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. We don't really need these, so let's delete those. So, control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button and mirror it over. Now what you need to do is get rid of these. 
So what I would do is just redraw them. Okay, let's do this first. Let's get rid of one side of them. Okay, I need to ungroup and then grab these. Well, let's tell you what, we'll leave them there for a second. But we need to see if these are grouped together. And see, the whole thing's grouped together, and I've actually got another duplicate underneath there. But this is part of that, so we need to go up to Arrange, Ungroup, and then we want to group these, and this is pretty important, Control-G to group those together. Now let's zoom in a little bit, and let's just draw a box about the size of that shape. Control-D and make a duplicate of that box. Now you could play around with this and get them uh, more of an angle, and I will on this one because uh, it's quite a bit off. Control D and make another duplicate. And for the video, I'm going to call that good. Now the reason I grouped those together, because so now all the black is group, all the black holes are grouped together. So I just have to click on part of the black and hit delete. Now my black ones are gone. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. I'm going to control G and make a duplicate, mirror them. Whoop. I didn't control D. Control D and make a mirror of them, make a duplicate of them. And then holding down your control button as you start moving, then hold down your control button and it's going to put them partially equal. Now just take your smart fill tool, fill that in move your smart fill away you can delete all this and there you have a horseshoe ready to engrave and you could still give it no fill and put an outline on it and you could cut it out if you wanted to so that's one way to draw a horseshoe and i actually did a lot better job than i did on the first one because that looks pretty much like a real horseshoe now if you want like a pitching horseshoe you would just pitch it pick pick another horseshoe but this would be a real horseshoe that a horse would wear it's even got square holes like square nails. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.